Hey everyone, it's Kay and welcome back to another vlog which finally concludes my monthly series update. I still could not believe that I was able to substantially share to you the 6 other vlogs in just a short span of time. Well, thank you for the support and for watching the vlogs. I finally reached 1,470 plus subscribers and I couldn't be more grateful. I'm really hoping that each monthly insight brought you realizations in one way or another. So, going further, with this July vlog, don't forget to give my video its well-deserved thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. July came in uniquely. It was a mixture of everything. Writing this month's entry just gave me both the sad and happy vibes anyone could feel. This month was marked by my parents' birthday. Dad is on July 1 and my mom on the 26th. Hence, it is a very special month because the two people responsible for my existence celebrated their real existence. For dad's birthday, we had a surprise party as you can see on this portion of the vlog to celebrate his 50 golden years. I could not be more grateful for this chance. Not everyone gets to have an opportunity to celebrate their 50, right? And thankful that dad got his. As for mom, she turned 49. She did not want any luxurious party or anything since she said she would only wait until 50. But who cares, right? So yeah, the month is still filled with celebration and it's worth celebrating their birthdays. Aside from that, this month was marked by the arrival of my aunt and uncle from Ireland, two extraordinary people I have always treasured, my auntie Neng and uncle Seller. We haven't seen each other for like three years since the pandemic started. They also had their battle with COVID, so having the chance to see them back in Zamboanga made that extra special. Oh, life is really like that. We never really know what happens next. This was another grateful moment for this month. Rare is it that my family from my mother's side are here in the city. So it was more of like a reunion and a celebration once again. While all of the festivities in the family went on, a sudden jolt to my heart happened. Spontaneity at its finest, I must say. No, it's not death or COVID or failing an exam or anything. It's different. It was something else. This experience, I must say, greatly caused the reshaping of my self-image. And up to now, I'm progressing. And I'm very proud of that because I'm continuously progressing and developing from it. One word or a few can indeed break or make a person. Painful as it was, I wouldn't provide much of the facts, but that incident, a conversation with someone who was once special, now not, of course, uttered words I never expected. On that incident, I tried to reconcile my thoughts, to be proactive over the words that were spoken and the events that happened. To tell you honestly, there was really no prior issue. It was just, it was just that utterance that changed everything indeed break or make a person i thought to myself that maybe it was a joke or not but to no avail i never received an explanation a clarification even or 
um, even the apology that I deserved. Rather, after sending a message expressing how I felt, I was then told that we'll be talking later and that to remember that the least that the person could do, that person could do, was hurt me. Afterwards, with anticipation of the person's initiation of contact, I never heard a thing again. And for the first time, thinking I was already okay after resolving my personal struggles in the past weeks, as shown in my previous vlogs, I was once again visited by self-doubt and questions on self-worth. Is this what I deserved? How can someone like this person have the audacity to devalue me with those utterances? How can someone like this person after being reached out to with a call the next day drop that call and not say a word anymore? I would admit I had my down moments over the incident because why not? But I chose to stand up and value my peace. Why force the situation? Rather than fretting or crying over spilled milk, I came to terms with the situation to face it as it is since I already did my fair share of the effort. If they don't want to, then fine. If they want to, I'm certain they will always find a way. I have had enough of people who cannot even see the worth and preciousness of a thing they have at the moment. In the end, I would like to tell you this. Learn to leave the table when respect is no longer served or given. We can always choose to be kind, you know, but never forgetting to set the limits to others who cross the line. I came to understand how boundaries are established, how limits are possibly pushed to the wall, how to give a damn to things that are only fuckworthy, to specifically choose my battles, and most of all, to value oneself. There was just one thing I wish I had known, you know, to have known these things earlier so I would not have endured such an experience. Nevertheless, cliche as it may, things happen for a reason. face-to-face -face class session with one of our great professors in law school. So, I'm a bit stoked kasi recitation siya. So, kinakabahan ako because number one, hindi ko alam paanong recit sa face-to-face. -face. It's a very different thing when it's online. So, it's a very good day siguro. Medyo kinakabahan ako. And I'm off to taking a bath to take a bath. Oh, what? From grammar na. Anyway, yun, that will basically be what this vlog will be all about. So, yun, I'm excited to share a portion of the day. And, yun. Yeah. It's almost 12. And, sa totoo lang, tinatamad pa rin ako bumangon. I mean, kanina bumaba na ako. I mean, I drank coffee, pero I'm contemplating if I should prepare now. Let's go. I'll be preparing and off to prayers. So, sana it's gonna be a good day. I look forward to her live lectures. She's always been an admirable professor. So. Now I'm still in bed. It's 
9.30. So, enjoy natin to while we can. Because when life happens in August, wala nang ganito. So, yeah. Good morning. And with that, as the month's realization, it points to the essence of self-worth. You see, this world is already full of problems, and with every circumstance in our lives, we may unconsciously correlate these to our worth as a person. Do not let that happen, ever. Do not let a thing, an event, or another person's existence define your value and worth as a person. I went through that unknowingly for the past months I've been going through it without me knowing that it, it was happening and the outcome was never good. And I don't want that to happen to you. Learn from my experience. I was just lucky enough to get back to my senses and move forward. To accept that some people are indeed trashy in themselves and shit happens whether we wanted it or not. The twist and the secret to winning these kinds of incidents, it's not revenge. It's to learn from it. This time around, I should know better. And in no way can we allow anyone to step on us or tell us to maneuver every aspect of our lives. Do not let that happen. After all, it starts and ends with you. It's your choice. July was the roughest, but it made me the toughest. Half of the year passed and all these vlogs have been keeping the learnings I have had for each month or for each day of the month. Thank you for being with me in this vlog. Feel free to send me your thoughts in the comment sections below. The August vlogs will be a new set of contents already. I'll be missing updating you for my monthly events, but I'll make sure the August vlogs will be a little bit different. Why? Because it's finally my birth month, and I look forward that I would have a breath of fresh air after all these incidents. See you on the next! Thank you.